Hello guys, welcome to this quick tip. Now today I'm talking about here this lower uh, intercooler pipe. This is my new, new uh, intercooler pipe that I have. This is the old one. This is the original one. This is an aftermarket one. The, the original is no longer available. This new one is for Hypergum. It, it is a really, really good brand. In fact, they, they have a lot of uh, um, original parts back on their, their bags in their boxes. And the main difference that I see here on this uh, pipe is on the original, you have only have one ply and on this one you have four. Now, uh, that is good for several reasons, uh, including not having a torn uh, pipe so early. But uh, another thing that is very interesting with this new pipe, less turbo lag. Okay, uh, you cannot, you will not be able to feel it uh, unless this pipe is really swollen. Every time you, ex you accelerate, you are introducing pressure on this pipe in the upper one as well. It actually increases its diameter until it's no longer able to inflate anymore. And then you have the maximum pressure going to your, to your intake. While it is inflating, you are losing time. You are having turbo lag. Uh, after the turbo leg itself, you are having a, a second leg on the, the pipe itself. So this new pipe is really inter interesting for that. I think I will have less residual turbo leg. Now, another thing may spring to mind. Those metal kits made from stainless, they are very uh, interesting. In fact, they are. They can uh, offer you a lot of solutions, in fact. Uh, but I think there is a big problem there. As you may understand, the, the hoses for the intercooler are on the engine bay. And you have a lot of heat inside the engine bay, okay? That is normal. If you are adding pipes that are made from metal, that metal will absorb the heat from the engine and it actually will heat up your less cooled air that comes from the intercooler for this pipe. It is no longer as cold as it could be with rubber hoses or silicone hoses. So the stainless kits may be a bit worse than the normal uh, rubber or silicone hoses. How can you uh, be sure that is happening or not? You have here this sensor. It measures temperature and pressure to your intake. And you can see on diagnosis on the machine. I leave you here the link so you to see. You can see the temperature of the intake. Beware that you have a second reading of the air temperature on your MAF sensor. So be sure that you are reading after your air is going uh, after the intercooler, after the pipes, when it's going to your engine. I hope you like this quick tip. I hope it can be useful for you and your friends. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to consider subscribe to the channel, it's very important for me and share with your friends. Also on the description below, there is, there is a lot of information that can be useful for you regarding these cars that I have here. The 75, the Alpha 155, the 156 and my 33, there is uh, that poor thing. Also, another thing, you may already know that I have a Patreon account. If you want to, to subscribe to that account, uh, it will be wonderful. Please consider that on the description below. See you next time, guys. Bye.